Manchester City once again over the weekend showed just why they became worthy champions last season. Going down to 10 men against an excellent West Brom team, then going 1-0 behind, you thought it wasn't going to be their day. It shouldn't have been. But it was great to see them going for it, the way they played with 10 and the attacking substitutions that Roberto Mancini made, all of which in a battling 2-1 victory showed the belief and character that exists in their dressing room. This is the same Mancini lambasted early on in his City career for his defensive priorities and the misunderstood three holding midfielders. Build from the back, lesson learned. It's a cliche, but it's a real sign of champions to be able to pull something out of the bag against all odds and in the last minute. It's something that's long been associated with their Manchester counterparts, but the noisy neighbours are getting even louder. They've taken the title off United, taken a couple of their transfer targets, even taken one of their players, and now they've taken their trademark 97th minute winners. Step aside Solskjaer and Sheringham, step forward Aguero and Dzeko. I know how the West Brom players are feeling. I know how Romelo Lukaku is feeling. I've been in a team winning and in total control against the expensively assembled form side, only to have it snatched away from nowhere. But what struck me more than my opponent's sheer winning mentality was the acceptance of our players, albeit only a minority, that this had happened. You have to be realistic as a professional and sure you're going to come up against better teams, but to be accepting of a potential victory that turned into a defeat is the start of your decline as a footballer, regardless of whether you were up against Henri, Ronaldo, Rooney or David Silva. City never stopped and got their winner very late. It's as amazing as it is impressive how the top teams consistently score late on. It's an inner belief to never give in, never be beaten, and that's exactly what United and many other top sides have done to my teams over the years. It's no coincidence that City, United, Chelsea and their likes keep doing this time and time again. It's like they expect it, they just know it. I'm not in the Arsenal dressing room, so I can't speak with authority on them. But even though they've added the undeniable quality of Santi Cothola, Lucas Podolski and co, they haven't yet added that imprint of winning. Perhaps more worrying for United fans is that while City managed to do it against West Brom this weekend, United failed to do it against Spurs a couple of weekends before. The noisy neighbours may become an ongoing nuisance rather than them just hosting an unwelcome housewarming party. I'm the secret footballer. For the latest from me, subscribe at Copper90. 5-0. England got the result against San Marino that they needed and really that's all the analysis that's needed. Look, San Marino aren't a football team. Even Giampaolo Mazza, the San Marino manager, said...